fans down at Vias Arena have stormed the court in celebration. I imagine this is inside. I can only imagine that it's outside in Montezuma Mesa right now, but certainly history made for the Aztecs men's basketball team. And Troy Hirsch, now our sports director, we're all in the newsroom biting our nails, going crazy. <laughs> I heard Troy over there. Wow, Troy, what a big, big win today. Well, just as we thought, SDSU played Alabama, and they played a rough, physical, bully type of game. And the Aztecs showed that they're the toughest kids on the block, and they advanced to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history by knocking off the Crimson Tide. In the first half, the Aztecs really clamped down on defense and did it all game. Alabama came in with the second highest scoring team in the nation. The Aztecs limited the Crimson and tied to just 23 points in the first half. Jaden Ledee had that huge block there, and Darian Trammell led the way with nine points as the Aztecs led 28-23 at the break. In the second half, Alabama came out hot, went on an 11-2 run, and took the lead. But Trammell and company did not fold down the stretch. They countered with a 12-0 run. The Aztecs also blocked eight shots, and they win the game 71-64. Darian Trammell led the way with 21 points. The transfer from Seattle University played his best game for the Aztecs when they needed it most. The Aztecs will now play either Creighton, a number six seed, or Princeton, a Cinderella, a number 15 seed, in the Elite Eight. That game will be played on Sunday. No time yet, but it'll come out soon. If the Aztecs do play Creighton, that'll be a chance to exercise some demons from last year. You might recall the Aztecs lost to the Blue Jays in the first round of the tournament last year, and they were in a similar situation as they were in tonight, Phil. Mm -hmm. They had a nine-point lead against Creighton with three and a half minutes to play, and they blew it last year. This year, they did not. They made their free throws, they played tough, and that defense really, really bothered Alabama. And one of the things that we talked about that Brian Dutcher talked about before the game was experience versus youth. And the experience really won out in this game because the youth of Alabama was frustrated, they were impatient, and that's how SDSU won the game. Absolutely. Okay, can't wait to hear more about it in the uh, post-game reaction, as we say later on. We are Julian Delgadio is there right now uh -huh. talking to players, and coming up in sports, we will have post-game reaction from the Aztecs. All right, can't wait for that. What a great night. Thank you so much.